Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. We do have some breaking news from the NBA. Steven Silas is no longer part of the Rockets organization. This is after a three-year stint. They end up declining his fourth-year option. Therefore, the hunt is on for the Houston Rockets to go ahead and make a coaching change. Now, this is not a huge surprise to any of us here that have been kind of following the Rockets and trying to see how their future progresses as they've had a young team. They've had a very young team. They've had some nice pieces there and available to them. However, the search is on now um, after a very, very tough three-year stretch where there was so much that had happened throughout the course of that. Um, it just did not end well. Very tough situation to watch holistically speaking. Um, you know, Raphael Stone and Silas are going to be meeting on Monday uh, to you know formally part, and I think this is going to be a, a big change for the Houston Rockets. Steven Silas was thought to be one of the most promising assistant coaches, um, you know, when he was with Dallas, and then he ends up going to Houston, and it was a disaster from the start. Star players asking out. That's the whole the whole situation was just not good for him. Um, very ugly. Now. I think turning a new leaf makes a lot of sense for this organization. I just feel that he didn't necessarily have the locker room. He wasn't able to necessarily get the most out of his players. There's a lot of things that just didn't work his way. And I think he's going to be a nice assistant coach once again in the league. But I think at the end of the day, Raphael Stone made a decision that was very, very conscious of the future in terms of trying to make this team work. Also, you know, trying to, you know, turn the new leaf, trying to, you know, change to the next chapter. Now, with that next chapter begins the head coaching search. Now, they've already listed, Woj has listed some names already that are prime candidates that are rumored to be in serious contention for this. We scroll up a little bit here. We're going to see uh, Udoka, Atkinson, and Vogel, all coaches that very well should be headlining the uh, interviewing process as well as potentially Nick Nurse if he somehow does become available, which to me would be a little bit of a shock. But I think at the end of the day, if you look at Udoka, Atkinson, and Vogel, all of which have coaching experience that very well could right the ship here. I think, you know, when you're kind of looking, I think Udoka is probably going to be the, the top option in terms of, um, you know, who they're going to target. Then I think it probably falls in line with Vogel second and Atkinson third uh, in that hierarchy. Overall, they, they need someone that is a very well-established coach that has been able to, you know, command a locker room and that has won. And to me, that makes a lot of sense for, you know, especially Frank Vogel in terms of actual longevity. I think Udoka is a great mind in the game, but I think they might be looking for uh, a guy like Frank Vogel, who's done it for a very long time. Um, you know, obviously, when you look at his little stint with the Lakers, uh, their success that they had, obviously winning the championship in the bubble. You look at his time in Indiana and the development of you know key wing players such as Paul George. This is a formula for success potentially for the Houston Rockets, trying to get a well-established coach that's going to be able to completely change and you know hopefully alter the direction of this franchise. They have a lot of really nice young players in place. I think it's up to Raphael Stone to go ahead and make some tough decisions when it comes to the actual roster construction of the team. I don't think Silas was the entire problem. I think it's a little bit of issues with the actual construction of the team, um, them being super guard centric. I think they they definitely have to add a couple more wings to be completely transparent. Um, you know, they they just didn't play well as a team. They need a you know a secondary playmaker, um, you know, a guy that's able to distribute the rock. There, there's a lot of things that they have to change here in order to get this going in the right direction. They have the draft picks to do so. They have young guys that are currently in place that very well could develop into, you know, a, a star or two that's currently on roster. A lot to love about what they currently have. They have tradable pieces, which is also a very key element in all of this is how many tradable pieces can they turn into established veterans potentially? And that's how you're going to have to build your roster collectively speaking. So Steven Silas on his way out from Houston is a big deal. Now, once again, when you look at the actual short list that they have here currently on the prominent candidates that very well could be suited for the job, uh, you, you have to get deeper into the weeds in terms of, you know, is there any connections with Raphael Stone? It gets super deep. Now, at the end of the day, 
Now, prior connections mean something, but they don't mean everything. I think Frank Vogel has a very strong case to become the Rockets' next head coach, offering some stability, some longevity in the league. It could make some sense. But Udoka uh, is, once again, another big-time candidate. Obviously, did not end how he wanted in in Boston. Uh, maybe he's able to kind of right some of his uh, previous wrongs here and, and lead a young Rockets franchise, um, you know, potentially to the playoffs. I think all of that is in place. So once again, thanks for stopping by, watching the video. Appreciate all the support. Let me know in the comments section below who you think the next Rockets head coach will be. And uh, also let me know what are some of the big moves that they need to be making in the offseason to ultimately right the wrongs. Thanks again, and we'll catch you in the very next Utility Sports video.